So I have a lot of New York agents to follow me. And, uh, you know, with the 80,000 agents, the 12,000 transactions, you know, they're, <clears throat> they have a, they got a hurdle there. What would you say to those people? Because there's a lot of them watching right now. You know, what do you say to those agents just starting out in New York that see this huge mountain they got to climb with, you know, <laughs> 80,000 people competing with, you know, for, for 12,000 transactions? What do you, how do you succeed in that environment? The best part about sales and the best part about real estate sales, especially in cities like New York, is you can just forget about the competition. It's mm -hmm. all who you meet today. Your number one focus all day long should just be increasing your Rolodex, right? Expanding your network and meeting more people, even if those more people are just brokers, right? Even if they're just the mailman and four cleaning ladies, as long as you meet a handful of people every day and you're adding them to your database and you're sending them your newsletter and you're touching base with them on social, that group will give you transactions. They will give you buyers. They will give you sellers. That becomes your warm sphere of influence. And it's really, really important. And you can do that in New York city. Um, I mean, in New York, like it always blows my mind when people say I have no business and I have no clients, like then go to the street, like go out to the street, go to Starbucks, go to the deli, go introduce yourself to people, take a hundred cards and don't come in until you give them out. Like I, when I first came to New York, I wasn't in real estate, but you know, I couldn't afford a gym membership and there's a really expensive gym on the Upper East side. And I got to work out there for free in exchange for being a flyer guy. There's a 63rd and Lex uh, Equinox. And so I would take flyers for Equinox to get people to sign up for the gym. And I would stand on the corner of 63rd and Lex, 62nd and Park, and I would pass out flyers. And so it just sort of was normal to me when I got into real estate to do the same thing with business cards. You know, you'd be surprised what happens when you stand out on the street or go talk to people as long as you have no shame and you just go out there and say, what's the worst that can happen? People aren't going to buy or sell. Okay, well, great. And then I'm exactly where I started right now and just meet new people. <clears throat> no, it's pretty classic for agents to say how do you know, I'm not selling anything and, you know, I'm down on sales and everything else, but they're not, they're certainly not making calls or talking to anybody, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> in this business, you don't have to wait for someone to tell you what to do. There's always work to do. There's always work to do. There's always. Dude, I'm a huge component of it's totally unlimited for every agent. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients for every single agent, more than you could ever do in your life. You can work 24 seven the rest of your life and never even scratch the surface yeah. for the work that needs to be done. Cause to me, it's all about creating the relationships. If they want to buy or not, you build the relationships, you build your database. For sure.